Hello and welcome to Red State Plus Channel. In this episode, we are going to talk about a very cool JavaScript library to easily create a confetti effect on your web page in literally like couple minutes. And in today's example, we will use the library to create a button effect like this. So ready? Let's check it out. So here is the example page we are going to work on. A simple button centered on the screen with flex display. With click event to pop up an alert message. To create the confetti effect, first include the library from CDN via script tag. If your project use package manager, you can also use the npm install. Then call confetti function inside the button click event, and that's it. Super easy, right? The library will use the default setting for confetti effect. Some of you might okay with the result at this point. However, there is a slight problem. The library is adding the effect on the page body and not the button, so it always be at the center regardless of the button position. And if we want the effect to appear on the button directly, then we will need to use a custom canvas. First, create the canvas element and set the width and height to 600 pixels. Then get the button wrapper dip. And add a canvas element as a child. Then create a confetti instance from our canvas using create method. And start the effect by calling it. Now there are a couple issues. The effect is not at the button. And another one is, since we are using the custom canvas, the library will not automatically remove it after the effect is done. So we'll fix this by using the promise return from the library. And remove the canvas manually. As for correcting the effect's position, we will add the CSS to change the canvas position to absolute to remove it from document flow. Then set top and left to 50% and minus 50% translate to center it on the button. And also set pointer events to none so we can click the button while the canvas is still over the button. Looks good. Now you might want to adjust or customize the effect to suit your requirement, and the library provides lots of options. Here's the demo on the project page. For example, you can change the number of particles, angles, spread, shape of confetti, and colors. You can see the full option list on the document in the GitHub. All you have to do is to provide them when calling the confetti function. For example, I'm going to change the particle numbers to 200. Increase the spread to 200 degrees. Reduce the starting velocity and confetti size and fading time. And here is the final result. And that's all for this episode. You can find the link to source code below. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe our channel to support us and stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.